ankle pivot. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardom is Prime here doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Attack on Titan Artifacts J18 scale free painted Aaron Jaeger statue. If you're trying to get your Attack on Titan statues, you can. Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. I want to thank Kotobukiya for making this review possible. Please check the link in the description below to see the latest coming from Kotobukiya. Pretty sweet window box packaging right over here. And then we can turn it around and see some product shots. Looking pretty nice. More product shot. Ooh, Mikasa. Ooh, Levi. Then turn it around once more. Again, it says sculpted by Shin Tanabe. Aaron again one last time. All right, well, let's get to it and crack this thing open. Here's Aaron out of the packaging, and this is a beautiful looking statue. I really like the figure portion of this, but this wood right over here, the tree. The tree looks fantastic. I really love the sculpt throughout it. I'm impressed with all of it. Now, it does come with a couple of extra pieces. Uh, for instance, the sword bits or the blades that are stuck right here in the tree along with these and then the ones attached to the handles along with the tubes for the 3D maneuvering that's all separate you have to attach that yourself which is not very difficult at all I will say I did have kind of a tricky time with this piece right over here but you know it stays and we'll take a closer look at that in a minute I just want to do a 360 of the statue first I really like how these used up blades look and how they're chopped right into the tree right there so you just attach them through this little peg so you can see how this little peg goes in there and the instructions are very clear as to which ones go where and everything so this is really nice looking to me I like it a lot especially these cuts right in there that is awesome I love the color variation and all this sculpting and you get some more cuts on the tree right over here as well and then you can see where Aaron actually attaches to this tree piece so I'm gonna remove it you actually want to attach it by pushing down on this piece you don't want to push against this little section right here so here let's see if I can detach it there it goes so that's not too bad and then just plugging it in yeah, it goes in very, very nicely. I like that. There's a little bit of spacing right there, but it's not bad. It gets hidden very easily. And as I mentioned, this last piece over here is just a little bit weird for me getting that in there, but you can see how there's just a little bit of white sticking out from right there. So that's the only thing that really bugs me about that. But still, the sculpt on this piece looks really cool. I love the application of black paint right there. And the silver is very, very reflecting. Really digging this sword piece right here a lot. You can see the tree, more details in there. That looks great, man. I really like the head sculpt and the paint on the face for this statue. I think it looks really good. You get those huge Aaron Jaeger eyes. Oh! Well, he's not kind of doing that right now. He's attacking yeah. on Titans. Ah! Anyway, the hair right over here looks really cool, too. Uh, you get some brown mixed in there. It's mostly black, but I feel like there's just a tiny hint of brown in that paint. I could be wrong about that. It could just be my lighting, but it looks like there's a subtle change of color in the hair over there, which I think is sculpted very accurately. It looks very cool. And then he also has this really cool cape over here, which is removable. I'll show that in a second, but I just want to look at the paint apps right here and look at all the highlights of the greens and stuff. So I like the color variation. You can see the hood. This is actually all sculpted right there. These feathers are all sculpted in there. I think that's a very, very nice touch. These blades came out looking really, really nice. I love the silver paint on these and they have like a brighter silver to them at the edges. So they just like really pop. I just think these are brilliant. Same thing with the handles over here. You can see all the little tubes and stuff like that. Looking on the other side, you can see the grip. A little bit of paint smudge right there. That's a little bothersome, but not a big deal. I like this gunmetal paint and I like how the fingers look holding the triggers and stuff. So you can remove these blades or you're going to kind of need to, to get this cape off. Uh, so they plug in very easily and you could plug whichever one you want to. And kind of just like on the show, this kind of resembles how they're actually supposed to look, but actually not quite. So you just remove the head on this, it's, it's removed, and then take this piece off, which I think I'm going to rather have them displayed without that cape. And then you just want to make sure that you have, you know, this shape going according to the pegs sticking out of there. And there he is without the cape. However, he does need these blades reattached over here. And just want to be careful with those. You want to attach them, you know, hold them by the bottom, and then make sure the angled side is facing down because they attack with these sides right here and that's looking pretty cool to me I'm digging that now we can get a better look at the details right here in the back of his jacket which look very nice again the feathers are all sculpted in there I really like the shading effect that they use here with the paint the 3d maneuvering technology looks amazing I love how all these components have a metallic sheen to them and I like this dark brown metallic look we're getting for this little disc piece right here same thing with the inside right over there that looks really cool get a lot of that gunmetal color right over here this is just really badass. I think this came out very, very well. I'm really impressed with this. Even this little metal piece coming around over here to the side. The gas tank looks good and everything. The sheath for all the swords, for all the blades. 
look really nice. And coming around to the front of the figure, you can see some of that shading effect going on with the shirt. Nice painted silver right there on the buckles and everything. We get some nice shading right there on this darker brown section right there, right above his waist. Same thing with the boots over here. Nice shadowing effects right there in the creases and stuff. You even get some nice sculpting at the bottom of the boots right there. It's very, very tricky to see, but there's very, very subtle shading on the white sections of the statue. Uh, you can kind of see some gray a little bit right there. We're going to measure all the way up to the tubes over here. This statue stands at nine and a half inches tall. And here he is next to the Figma Aaron Yeager figure. As you can see, I'm trying to replicate the pose from the statue. And to compare Aaron to your average Artifacts Plus statue, here he is next to the DC Comics New 52 Green Arrow. And a quick little correction to my review of this statue. This little arrow piece is actually supposed to fit into his hand like he's pulling an arrow out of the quiver. And of course, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Now, I really think this is a fantastic piece. I really like the display options. You know, you can have a cape on or off. I really like how the swords look. The base is awesome. The figure itself of Aaron is great. I really dig this a lot. Coincidentally, this showed up just a day before my Attack on Titan dubbed Blu-ray set came in the mail, so I was super stoked to get this. For any Attack on Titan fans, I highly recommend this statue. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the statue, subscribe, and check out ToyDesign.com for a photo gallery of images, and check out the Shardimus Wink channel for the daily vlog. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Whoosh. Looking all the way up to the tubes. Hey, don't be a bitch here, Hoto Man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button already if you haven't. Come on, man. Hit that subscribe or watch one of the videos below.